What's good, YouTube? Most of you checking back in with another video. I'm um, sorry for the lack of uploads. You know, school just started and shit. I'm trying to get right. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get on this grade grind. I think, I guess. It's whatever. I'm trying to get good. You feel me? Um, shout out to Donnie Visuals for the gameplay. Y'all gonna see in the background of the story time. Um, also, I don't have NBA 2K18, so if somebody in the comment section trying to game share me NBA 2K18, that'd be real. Um, my fault if y'all hear my smoke alarm in the background. We gotta change the fucking body for now. But anyway, let's get straight into the story time. So today's story time is about when I seen clowns on Halloween. And I thought this was gonna be relevant because y'all seen that movie. It, it just dropped and this shit was fucking scary. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I was like 13 or 14. Um, And like, usually I don't really go trick or treating like that. Um, I wasn't a really big Halloween type person. I ain't really used to go trick or treating. But I used to go with my brother, Donnie Visual, shout out to you. Um, sometimes because you know just to get candy i guess me and my little brother and donnie and um i think his cousin was there uh so we had went and they was they came to my house after school it was like thursday i guess i don't, I don't really remember but they was like you trying to go trick or treating or whatever and i was like yeah and i'm kind of old my 13 14 so i was like i'm not gonna dress up i'm just gonna go out there in some regular ass clothes tell them i'm a fucking a rapper because you know rappers wear the fuck they want and I was like, and I'ma go and I'ma fucking get candy, you feel me? Just to have candy, maybe to sell it, I don't know. But they were like, I already bet that. So, I go in the house and I wait till like 7, 8 o'clock when it's like later or so. And I go out there. You know, I'm looking fresh because my birthday is like a couple days before Halloween. So I'm fresh as fuck, man. I got my fucking new Jordans on, my fucking Truly pants or Levi pants. I don't even remember. I think they're Truly. I'm um, with a fucking polo shirt with a fucking backwards hat, nigga. I'm fucking clean. With a fucking chain out, like clean. Um, I think Donnie came out. He just think he was dirty. He said, I'm a student with a bola. And then he had a fucking, like, a wrap around his head. He got coughing and shit. I think that shit was dumb, stupid. But yeah, so, um, I don't know what sister, or little brother, or cousin, what the fuck he was, his cousin. Oh, my little brother. I don't know the fuck they was wearing. They just came out. So, we were going around doing regular Halloween type shit, you know, knocking on people's door. Yup, where the candy at, you feel me? Trick or treat, smile my feet, or I'm in your face type shit, you feel me? Hood type shit. They got smacky for the candy. So, you know, we getting candy. We kind of hype or whatever. You know, just going house to house to house. And, like, it's just normal shit. And then after we finished the first neighborhood, which is the neighborhood we stayed in, 1900 block, you feel me? After we finished that, we was like, fuck it. Before we go finish the other neighborhoods, let's just play um, Knock Knock, Zoom Zoom, or Ding Dong, Bitch, whatever y'all call it. So we were running around people's doors, banging on shit. I'm talking about kicking AC. Boom, boom, running around people's doors. So Donnie Cousin, let's call her, let's just fucking call her Tati, I guess. So Donnie Cousin, Tati, Tati, she kicked the door and she ran. So we all going, and I just turned around, and I just see Shorty slip down a hill. And just start tumbling. Just boom, boom, boom. Yo, I will reach. Shorty fucking bust her eyes. Like, Shorty fell on her face. <laughs> and I turned around. And then she was like, help me, bro. I said, hell no, bro. I'll go. <laughs> so anyway, so we end up um, leaving our neighborhood, going to my neighborhood to get candy. You know, normal shit. You know, knocking on doors, getting candy, whatever. So we finished trick or treating. By this time, it was like 10 o'clock, I would guess, 10 o'clock at night. So me and my brother, we was gonna go home. Cause we didn't stay in this neighborhood. Or we didn't stay in the neighborhood, but we used to. Like, we used to be there, so we always go over there cause that's where we from. Like that's where my niggas are. So we was gonna walk to my dad's neighborhood to where he moved to. So my, so Donnie was gonna walk with us. He was like, all right, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna stay tonight. I think we had to see work there the next day. So we was gonna walk. And then we just see something up the street, and there's no cars coming on this street. And if y'all know the street I used to live on, it was real busy. It's just a whole bunch of cars coming through. There's no cars. So it's like, all right, cool. We just walking, and then we just look up the road, and it's kind of dark, and like the street lights on on, except for one, and just in the fucking dark, we just see three people. So we ain't really tripping, you know. It could be trick or treaters, so we keep walking. And we get closer, and I'm like, yo, is one, one of them holding a knife, G? It was three clowns, bro. One of them was holding a knife, and one of them was holding, like, a sword type thing. And I was just like, bro, what the fuck? Like, 
yo, we about to die to clowns tonight, bro. <laughs> so, like, Donnie kept walking forward. And me and my little brother was like, yo, what you doing? And he like, brother, come on. And then we got closer. So we kept walking. And then they started moving, like, towards us. And I was like, gee, I'm not going. But we booked back to Donnie house. And we just, we was just gone. And we was gone. And, like, we were just running down the road. And as we running down the road, we just hear, like, a car coming. And right by, like, another clown car. Like, you were, like, four clowns in a car. And they just laugh. And they just stop the car. And they hop out. Bro, we was gone. Like, bro, they was trying to catch us, dog. We was gone. But we ran back to Donnie House, bro, on some no fuss. He said, I called my father. I was like, yo, we can't come home right now. You got to wait or come pick us up. But it's clowns out here, like. And this was, like, about when the killer clown thing was happening. Like, people was running around really trying to, like, clowns was really killing people. So we were like, no, nah, I'm not going with uh, you got to come pick us up because it's clowns out there. Like, them niggas ain't playing. Like, them niggas really trying to catch bodies. They trying to get their body count up. They don't give a fuck. So we was like, so we was chilling at Donnie's house till my dad came. And he just took us all back to his house and was telling him what happened. He didn't believe us, though. He was like, y'all just trying to stay outside longer. I was like, nah, G, like, they was really trying to get us. He was like, he didn't really believe us. He kind of pushed it off. But yeah, that's really it for the story time, though. Um, it's been your boy Mose this night. And I'll catch y'all in the next fire video. And be safe. Stay away from the clowns.